Welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by or coming across my YouTube channel, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe. Beside the red button is a notification bell. Turn the bell on so that anytime I upload a new video, you will be the first person to check it out. I appreciate each and every one of you who always turn back to watch my videos. Like you know, I present news on daily basis to you. So after watching the video, you are free to criticize and leave your comment constructively share the video yeah you can share it to your family friends anybody that you can so that they themselves will be informed now i present to you another interesting or informative video which we are going to watch together yeah i'm going to watch this video together with you then we'll come to the comment section i have been poisoned at the dss dungeon so i want you to listen we are going straight to the point without wasting any time You know, he was like, there are specific things he don't eat, and he told us that time he was here. But you know, stomach ulcer is a serious uh, health issue. Yes. So that day, of course, <coughs> even if there is medicine, if they come and prescribe medicine for him for 14 days, they will just bring like for eight days or least. Eight days, they won't bring again. That sometimes he feel like, I start stomach ulcer, he feel like, Open his mouth, you hear the smell of his mouth, his stomach from his mouth. And uh, during the time of his rendition, they hit him on the ear, and he's having a sound coming from the ear. That was the thing. And that he, is, he is seriously needed medical attention. When he said like this, we know what to do. And what we did is the right thing, the way we did it. It's not the first time we are. No matter, no matter how simple the sickness is, we must take it serious. Listening to the people who could not, you know, who sold onion out in Kenya, claiming that the way to show concern is to start raising propaganda that onion has been poisoned. How will the people who is hunting onion take anything they are doing serious because they are working with them? You wake up one day and then you begin to shout, Onyendo has been poisoned. Meanwhile, it is not true. What is the what 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 are you trying to achieve? Then the people holding onyendo, we know that all the people, all of you who have sold onyendo, you are just as useless as anything. There is no credibility in your statement, there is no integrity, there is no credibility in whatever you shout on social media. And you expect that when you say Onyendo has been poisoned, international community will listen to criminals who have nothing to substantiate the claim. Just come to social media. You start writing. Onyendo has been poisoned. When behind the door, they themselves know that nothing like that happened. It is a sabotage against Onyendo. We know how to fight Nigeria government and we are fighting Nigeria government in the right way. Not coming. You can't do anything. You see, you are underground. And the next thing you do is to come to social media, come to Radio Biafra and start shouting. Oyendo has been poisoned. Uh, we know about the poison. If they are planning to poison Oyendo, we are aware of that. They can do it. But this man came to post on social media that Onyendo have been poisoned. Now they are aware. You know how they do claim they are. I am branch. Did this this one, this one. Claim that Onyendo have been poisoned. I countered it. Many people countered it. Onyendo, Onyendo siblings countered it. Onyendo is sick. Everybody know Onyendo is sick, and we're hammering on it. But why would you come to public? A whole Onyendo, you are shouting. Onyendo has been poisoned. Though we are aware. They had a meeting. I want Bia France. To listen to the confession how this man arrived at onyendu is has been poisoned he said if they prescribe they prescribe the uh, prescribe the 14 days medication to onyendu and in that 14 days they gave onyendu the medication for eight days and leave the rest to him is 
Listen to how this man arrived at the poison that is all over social media creating, you know, confusion here and there. He said the reason why he came out to say, oh, you know, as if somebody told him or as if there is any intel because if they prescribe, they prescribe onion do medication for 14 days, they will give him medication for 8 days and leave the rest. Not that they give onion do medication of 14 days in 8 days. That is too different. The different thing is that giving somebody overdose medication or, you know, uh, giving somebody a medication of 14 days in four days but he said that they give that medication eight days and stop and to him is a poison and then he came out and start shouting as if there is concrete evidence somewhere it's just a propaganda because they want to start sharing it in the public so that they will plan their evil against onion they want to see the public reaction they want to see the public opinion and they will begin to poison onion do. and that is why we countered it immediately so that it will not sell. And of course, they know it did not sell. They know it was dead on arrival. So if you are watching from uh, Twitter, we ask you to join us on Enter Biafra. This is going to be very, very short. The Enter Biafra will continue to encourage viewers to watch from Enter Biafra because this is our own platform. And uh, we have uh, spent a lot, a lot of time and all that in this platform. Pay attention to how he confessed how he come about and cooked up the story of onion so what i'm trying to do is to just tell you that everything these people were doing are all lies made up story everything is made up story nothing was fact nothing was truth nothing was even close to factual things everything is cooked up story so listen to him what to do and what we did is the right thing the way we did it. It's not the first time we are no matter no matter how simple the sickness is, we must take it serious. Akoko, you are taking sick sickness serious. Why you were there? Oyendo was kidnapped, you didn't know about it according to you. You're not taking it serious, you are taking sickness serious. And so when we delivered the message that the same night, we brought the message. The brother who was, but then I will ask him, I said, but he, he went with his brother. He said, this is what he called me. He said, he talked to us. He told when I'm visiting him, because he don't visit him with the brother. You know, if you go in talk, you come out. I said, but the brother didn't mention anything like this. He said, but this is what he said I should inform you people. This is a message he gave to me that we know what to do. So um, what we did is to make sure we, we skip the... because in Jofo they didn't go. So, and it's a matter of health. We know the kind of message that you can do can give also. We know. So that's how we came up with that issue. Are you hearing that? That's how they came up. The, the morning or this thing, the younger brother start to call Benjamin. Then these things people are talking, he was with him, but that one told him, if you are with onion, why you didn't notice? Even a a in the maker said, in the maker said the way he saw onion that he shed tears. He haven't seen onion do in this uh, and the world when he told him, I doubt if I will survive this the way the situation is. So we took it very very serious. It's a serious issue. Ah, go, go. Then the brother start threatening. Are you hearing it? He go to counter it. That uh, is propaganda. He said poison. If who are the, those in the medicine line? If you giving somebody medicine that's supposed to be for yeah. one month, you give it, it's poison. Nah? Are you hearing it? If you are giving somebody poison that is supposed to be for one month and you stop, it's poison now. That's how this criminal in Kuwait arrived at Onyendo was poisoned at the DSS dungeon. They are wishing it. They are planning it. And it is good that Onyendu brother countered it immediately. Onyendu is sick, we know. But we must not give these criminals any room at all to sell any propaganda on the health of Onyendu. It is dangerous. 
And I, I thank the brother of Onyendu who, you know, fought them. No matter what, you must not allow anybody to use propaganda on the health of Onyendu because once they build that narrative, they will execute it. I am telling you the fact. Once you build the narrative of Onyendu being poisoned, you accept it, that it is true. They work on it because they have seen that nobody reacted. But the way we counter them, fought them, today they confess here how they arrived at that particular narrative of Onyendu being poisoned, which is very ridiculous. Very, very ridiculous. How can not giving people uh, someone a medication amount to poison? But that is what they arrive at. For that reason, listening to Ito, I did not, I did not say it. They're supposed to be for one month. It's poison. Nah. It's poison. It's poison. Even not overdose, it's poison. Any you see, the other idiot today was saying, ah, if it's overdose now, nah, overdose now, nah, he was correcting the person that it was not overdose. Now, listen to how he explained it. it was, somebody was saying, oh, because if it is overdose, to understand level that why why would you be giving onion over those medicine? But even at that, somebody was trying to say, oh, if, if it's like that, if it's overdose now, he was telling the person it is not overdose. Now listen to the story. Anything that is not uh, the right word, now, even that's supposed to be for one month. It's poison now. Even not overdose, it's poison. Anything that is not uh, the right word we have to use. It's poison. Uh -huh. it's the right word we have to use is poison. So, I do not know that there is a word to use. And the word should be poison. <laughs> I don't understand. The right word for them to use is poison. Are you hearing it? Now listen. It's not like they know that Toyendo has been poisoned. It's not like there is no any evidence or any intel anywhere. But he's not justifying it. That the right word to use. And he's explaining this thing because of the attack. He received the resistance he received because of that particular announcement both from us and from my younger brother <clears throat> it's like in kuwait here yeah. if if uh, you go away, even if you and your sponsor is here if you can make case run away run away whether you do anything in the law that is what if you don't want to that is it's just run away whether you are you hearing explanation of poison <laughs> that in kuwait if your sponsor come and write this your tea and you run away, it is a run away. So I don't know what it has to do with poison. <laughs> but that is the explanation of a Nikompu, of somebody who don't go to a four wall of a school. And is fighting for Biafra. You are talking with him or you're not talking abscom. So we use the word poison. Uh -huh. You see? So for that reason, we use the word poison. But you know. When you hear them talking this thing on Radio Biafra or social media, you think they have something. Did you see how he justified it? So for that reason, we use the word poison. But when you see them on social media, you thought that they have one intel somewhere and they have some mirror where they have Vidorino Yendu where he is and watch people giving him poison. It was only to create the avenue for them to poison Onyendu, which we resisted. He said, like the brother, they start problem. Mm. He said he was he was with Tony and he said, you are with Tony and you didn't see anything uh, yes. wrong. Mm. We started that fight. You see, it was on a Thursday. We started that fight. We started that fight. That we told him, okay, Monica, told Thursday to Friday. Thursday, After the Friday. Yeah, fr Thursday. it was Thursday, Friday. Thursday. The message, yes, the message came. So we told him, why not wait till Monday? Wait till Monday. When you go back to visit him you now ask him again tell him again, this is what these people said you didn't tell me anything he refused he said they are going to debunk it now then you know this and even emeka went and also say something about you understand me he's dying in 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 emeka wrote something yes <laughs> they for, yeah they forced him to um, to pull it down <laughs> then they make a letter on 
We start. We go to the Twitter and say that the guy was, uh, you know, that we forced Nemeka <laughs> to write such a thing. Hi. So we go back. To Nemeka say, why is this? So Nemeka go back again and wrote that he owes nobody apology. Are you hearing how they are manipulating the uh, the legal team? They're pushing Nemeka to go and republish it again. This one pushing Nemeka to go. That's how they push the criminals. They call it Jofa. They push this one. They are not fighting for Onyendu. Never. It is who controls which and who controls which one. It is power. Who should control uh, Jofa to go and write this one? Who should control Jofa? That's what they are fighting for. They don't care about Onyendu. They don't care about Biafra struggle. I believe that. I believe that from what you heard on this exposition for the past two days vindicate me what i'm saying they don't care about the struggle they don't care about biafra they don't care about Onyendu. all they care is about their position to continue their criminality in ipob that will have exposed them and expel them from the movement that's all you see how they are manipulating the lawyer they say lawyer you must go back and post something if they don't if you don't do it they don't, they will, he will not get money the other one will say go and we are debunking it Onyendu's brother say we are going to debunk it and the person that posted it should go back and write something. And after writing, they called the Emeka and Emeka Jofo also. And they also threatened him to go and rewrite the thing again. Dragon for this power. Why Onyendu is languishing in DSS dungeon? That is no nobody apology. Yeah. 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 You know, this thing, the younger brother start to call Benjamin. Then you, these things you people are talking, he was with Tony, but that one told him, if you the brother who was, but then I will ask him, I said, but you went with his brother. He said, this is what he called me what to do. And what we did is the writing the way we did it. It's not the first time we are, no matter, no matter how simple, the sickness is we must take it serious. And uh, so when we deliver the message that the same night we brought the message. The brother who was but then I will ask him, I said, but he, you went with his brother. He said Thank you very much, Peter Obaji. Peter Obaji said Chira Samoru is confessing here that indirectly that confessing and confirming that he was also sponsored to Kuwait. But I have told the story. I have told the story of how he was sponsored to Kuwait. Did you not hear me? I told the story of how he was one man sponsored him, a man from Ghana or somewhere, sponsored him to Kuwait. Now, because of this, um, because of this, uh, <clears throat> this comment from Peter Obaji of being sponsored to Kuwait, I want to play this. One moment. Very, very important. This, uh, this uh, comment, you know, brought something that I need to. I need to play this. I just played that video uh, a few days ago, where Enenche, where Enenche was uh, preaching and all that. Is it Enenche or somebody? How many of you remember when you know the video I played two days ago, right? Because. Uh, that particular video, I don't, I don't, I can't see it here now, you know, because I didn't prepare to play that video here today. But that actually, you know, confirmed the comment of Peter Obaji, which confirmed that because that in that particular video, it says that people were sent out of Nigeria from the southern part of Nigeria and to the Arab world to train them, you know. And so the question is. Which of the people that took this uh, criminal to Kuwait to be trained, you know, you know, for for their Islamic agenda? That is a question that uh, everybody should be asking, you know, just like Kasari Kubo. So which one, you know, he never can tell. But that video which I played a few days ago, where they were talking about uh, burning of uh, churches banning of churches in nigeria you know banning of churches in nigeria 
I played that video and uh, so I think maybe tomorrow I can come with it anyway. But this is the fact. So the comment is correct. You know, he say he be, you know, when you go if you're sponsor, so of, he definitely was sponsored to Kuwait. And uh, so on uh, agreement of uh, Islamic State or something, who knows? That's what they do. And uh, they will hide under Biafra and they destroy everything that is coming. So, but uh, we, they have made their end and uh, they are not going to, you know, win. So I have been able to prove to you that everything they come publicly to do, there is all lies. Everything is lies. They make it up themselves. They just come without thinking about the consequences of what they do. They come and start saying something they are not sure of. That's exactly it. And you see now, you have listened to him, how they arrive at Oyendu has been poisoned. That was nothing like poison, and we can never allow such propaganda on the health of Onyendu. Onyendu is sick, and when he is sick, we raise alarm about the sickness. But we can never raise alarm on propaganda on the health of Onyendu. It is dangerous because these people are evil. They can stop at nothing to hurt Onyendu. They have succeeded in making Onyendu to go to DSS dungeon till today. They are doing nothing other than sending money to the to the criminal age of who was part and parcel of the kidnap. If you talk, they say, oh, do you have lawyer? <laughs> I don't know. You have a lawyer and the and the Onyandu was discharged and uh, the lawyer is the Onyandu is still there and you continue to brag you have a lawyer. The lawyer that will go to tell Malami, don't release Onyandu, nothing will happen. I know all of them. Is that a lawyer? Yeah, this is what he called me, saying he talked to us. He told when I'm visiting him, because he don't visit him with the brother. You know, if you go in talk you come out. I said that the brother didn't mention anything like this. He said, but this is what he said I should inform you people. This is a message he gave to me, that we know what to do. So and what we did is to make sure we, we skip the, because the Jofo didn't go. So, and it's a matter of health. We know the kind of message your Hindu can give also, we know. So that's how we came up with that issue. You see, that's how they came up with that issue, which is the net, which is the poison. I think the, the morning or this thing, the younger brother start to call Benjamin. Then these things you people are talking. He was with Tony, but that one told him, if you are with Tony, why you didn't notice? Even a a joke, a in the maker said, he, 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 he wanted to cry. He, in the maker said the way he saw Tony. Like, so I've been able to play the video where they have exposed themselves how they come up with that uh, with that uh, 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 you know the narrative of poisoning of Onyendu so and uh, some of uh, somebody reminded me yesterday about it so uh, I'm going to stop here I said I'm not going to make this program more than 45 minutes but I'm going to take calls you know I'm going to take calls few calls you know how do you feel coming to now understand how these people operate criminalities propaganda they will just come and bring something to the public and start saying it as if there is something they have any evidence about it no the line is on those of you watching from enter biafra hit the call button and let us hear your opinion on the confession how they arrive at poisoning of Oyendu in dss dungeon that never existed call us I'm going to receive like five calls this evening and we'll call it a day and within this uh this five call will you know at least between now and 50 to 55 minutes the line is on from the enter biafra calling line hit on the or hit on your microphone on that on the mic and the call will enter here and we're going to hear your opinion and then tomorrow also we continue with our normal program Chile, you're welcome to the program. Good evening, sir. Yeah, well. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Um, first, I want to take out the... Um, uh, good evening from Cyprus, sir. I want, first, I want to take out the um, video... God is, uh, is working and it's really amazing. Then, secondly, Mars, Chilas are all there. Papa, Omer, and you, Omer, and you, 
owo we ni diplomatic styles a ni fi ka ka e put ko na this guy in the right place according to international law e ata because na ko ba this guy ya ni me ko na aga na me ko na aga e da ko na o da ko da di na ya his involvement in the in aba protest this guy is really the best boy we are calling him and he's every day by day he's really eating deeply every day by day don't worry on other on other you know the only know very soon don't worry we're working on it okay i second demand mm. because this uh, is contact and media team my contact time of the media team due to um counting each name my contribution but i contact some honey e wo ni ma ro ge ni oduto akan ta ni e ba o akan ti ndi adu ala gi ho na ala gi ho na emeru ya ta to de te ko no na na cha stronger ya uru so so retweeting kan me de emeru ko te bi mo demo message kam direct e ko nyega demo message with your number and somebody will contact you i saw that out oh on whatsapp um them na info at epa.fi okay sir thank you sir all right then bless you all right don you are welcome to the program hello i see fast can yeah. you hear me now i can hear you now there well, you are welcome to the program okay i'm just walking into asda shop <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> so I, i just walked out of the car so how are you keeping man I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. Uh, that's I just want to say, keep it on, okay? Just Thank keep you. it on. Keep it on. There is no nothing. Everything you're doing, only the blind ones will say you're not doing anything that is mm. uh, uh, genuine. You're doing the perfect, and it's wonderful. You know, I, I still maintain it. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. Uh, you know, but uh, uh, I thank God for having you. in this very struggle in this very you know agitation we are walking through because you've taken it to a different high level and god bless you richly for me and for my entire family and for everyone that is within auto pilots and omar and the rest of them we are so grateful to have you at this moment of time okay thank you thank Please you keep it keep it on my brother okay thank you very much thank you okay. All right, I think uh, we've switched uh, to just video. So I will Oh, uh, yes, finally got it, doctor. <laughs> yeah, welcome to the program. All right, we're going to end this program so that it will be very as you know, very 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 short and simple. We continue tomorrow like I said, I just came in because uh, I promised be a friend that I'm going to come. Thank you so much my wonderful viewers for watching this video together with me from the beginning to the end like I said before if you like what you see here if you like what I do in this platform as you have finished watching this video please hit that red button that says subscribe and put on your notification bell to all notification in that way you'll be able to know when I upload a new video share my videos leave your comments in the comment section constructively Until I meet your way again in my next video I still remain your Linda's TV show bye bye